Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Lord Forward here in Europa Universalist 4, playing as the Ottomans. So, my conclusion from this Let's Play is that the Ottomans are broken beyond belief, which I kind of already knew, but getting more evidence of. I'm just pretty much strolling through the Middle East, conquering nations at will. Oh, the Janissaries are demanding more money. Okay, well, we'll agree to that. We'll lose tons of money. We'll go broke for a moment. But we can raise war taxes. Okay, let's see. I might have to go deal with the rebellion over there. What we're gonna take end up taking a massive loan. Play this war with a doll business money in return that we can actually go even on uh, gold and repay the loans. Jazz have cannons yet. Yes, they finally have cannons. Yay. It's only taken them how long? Ages to do that. Hiring mercenaries to see some of see some of this some of these small unforded provinces. We have a claim on Poland's lands. How lovely. Mm. I'm just sending more troops to the slaughter by trying to siege down my provinces. No incentive, no reason not to seize a lot of their lands. It's kind of the rule of the game right now. You, you declare war on me, I take your land. Um, I should, should probably give a summary of what happened last video. Last video we took a lot of land from Akaria, fought a war with Hungary and Austria, and seized one of Austria's territories, and a couple of Hungary's, and I'm still trying to get the claim on Vienna at the moment. But Spain is now in the schoolboy and Brandenburg, who's actually a bit iffy about me at the moment. And Venice, so I need to improve relations with to get back to Western Arms Strait soon. No peace treaty for you yet at all. I want land. And you've got it. But not for long. Okay. Hat making is now a thing, apparently. I'm not sure I will actually try and take it from the land from a doll, but I may in fact try and uh, force them to release some nations. And pay me a ton of gold so I can pay off that debt from the Janissaries.
Okay, they should be willing to accept peace at this point. Yeah, they're more than eager to. Well, I want the money. I want you to also release... Really? that land. Force them to release a little bit of other lands. Don't need the mercenaries. Just need to call cool this land. Perfect. And now I can move troops through there very efficiently. Connected to the Hejaz lands pretty, pretty easily at this moment. Hey, we can actually fabricate a claim on Vienna, or what will be Vienna in the future. Can't repay that one. Okay. Yeah, reducing overextension. It's gonna be a revolt and not it, unless I do something. Sign me up to stop them. Assuming they get there in time. Oh, interesting. I've never had a request to share a map from a country like Spain before. I'm going to keep losing piety again to get the technology costs lower. It'd be fun if I managed to take Vienna westernize and then have very low piety, because then I'll out advance Europe. As it is, I think I'm ahead of Europe in a lot of things. Really, Venice? You're exactly one opinion away from me, from actually giving me Western arms trade. Um, okay, let's off all the forts, get enough money, repay that loan, and then I can re-raise the forts. You know what? Actually, let's just do this easier. That's for contribution. Absurdly simple, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to do tech costs at the moment. Um, ideas. Go for the tech, actually. Fairly good ruler. Air is a one better ruler, I guess. I'm amazed I'm still doing as well as I am in tech costs, despite just focusing admin power this entire game. People actually like us all of a sudden. Wonder why. Huh. We will help Gujarat. Europeans. Interesting. Okay. Slowly converting the lands to Islam. 
Not that I really care enough to care about it, but... Let's see where we, where we don't have states or territories lately. obviously. Now well, they both want land. Um, okay. Dilemma and Umira. Nope, the Dilemma want more land. Alright, okay. Um, Rebella, where are they? That would be the Dilemma. Good. Should make it, yeah, like that. It's amazing how actually how little land that I own is actually hmm, he wants me to kick out the Portuguese. Spain would definitely join their side. Venice would help me, I'm not sure it wouldn't. Russia's massively in that. Okay, that makes sense. Let's actually fabricate the Kaliban Dar 4 and seize some of their territory. Actually, let's seize all their territory. No reason letting them survive. Same thing with these guys. eliminating them all. I even have military access through their land. I'll let the Hijaz deal with the problem. Portugal allied with. Uh, Tuscany. And Berg, Burgundy and Riga. That's fine. I want to take Vienna, which means I can't afford to annoy lots of these enemies. 72. No, I could probably do it pretty short, pretty soon. Both of those territories. Got it. Let's just move this army back to Europe. here to deal with this unrest. Doesn't look like it. 
Oops. That's not good. Rebellion in Toronto. Okay. Then we we'll begin separatists. Okay, we should be able to win that battle without any trouble, though. Although we will have nationalism. Easy victory there. And then let's hunt down the man leader. Another easy victory. Not that dangerous in an event, I don't think. France is attacking Genoa and Cyprus. Okay. Interesting. Prepping for the war with the Austrians. Prosperous. Take that offer. Free land is always good. We must have, yeah, we've converted a lot of land up there now. tech level before I fight them. But whip and infantry fire will make a huge difference against the Austrians. I think we really should raise more troops. I can't support that many more though, that's a problem. Venice owes me favors, Spain owes me favors, so I should be able to call on a lot of people if I attack Austria. Spain is on their side though. Oh. Yeah. Not gonna do that. Well, I'm gonna lose my alliance with Spain here, but that was kind of inevitable. Let's join the Protestant League, I think. Instant alliance breaking with Spain? Yep. I know what that means, though. That means I can do this conquer land from the Portuguese. Should be able to start a war with them, right? Yeah, or I could attack Austria. Yeah. Spain broke the alliance with us, yep, saw that one coming. France. Could be a viable ally.
to raise these these forts back up so now if I fight a war with Portugal and Spain or I could just you know hit a huge amount of gold and solve the whole problem because that just happens every day still losing money should start at some point get standing down some of these forts. I've got too many. Yeah, level 14 military tech now. So I should be able to fight an equal war with Spain and Portugal. Well, that's more like Spain, Portugal, Burgundy, Hamburg, and Tuscany as well. League has started. Whoa. But that will be for another video because this is going to be a massive war. Wow. Okay. Looks like they're a tiny bit weaker than we are. Yeah, and they also have the colony. Spanish Brazil won't be able to send troops or anything. Okay, well, that will be the end of this video, and we'll continue next time as the Protestant Catholic War really starts to heat up, and hopefully Austria loses really badly. So, bye for now.